The journey is different for many patients. I met with Ms. Collins in my office and we reviewed her pathology report together and I said, Ms. Collins, you do have breast cancer. My name is Jean Collins and this body of work is um, the documentation of my personal breast cancer journey. I chose to document my experience for several reasons. Um, after my diagnosis, I found that um, both people in the medical profession and others wanted to give me a label. They wanted to call me a victim or they wanted to call me a survivor. And I did not feel like either of those things. I did not want to be put in a box. So I wanted to find out what my own identity was. But the photography was another way of controlling. It was one thing that I could control when, at a time when my life was sort of threatening to take over or to, to be out of control, I could say, this is what I'm going to do. I can, I can take pictures of this, and if I take pictures of it, it won't be scary anymore. When my hair fell out, you know, I documented that, and I documented when it began to come back. I documented um, that my mastectomy, or at least the aftermath of the mastectomy. I documented buying prosthesis. I documented the dryness that you um, um, experience when you have chemotherapy. I documented the chemotherapy itself. I want I wanted this work to be not so much perhaps an art project, but a, a platform for conversation about cancer. When I could laugh or um, look at it and say, you know, this too shall pass, and in the meantime, we're going to look back on it someday and say, you know, you really looked funny when you were bald. Um, that that kept me going. I think that I think that humor was just invaluable. When I, when I purchased my prosthesis, it was actually, when I talk about humor in this body of work, it was actually one of the most humorous experiences. Um, this very chirpy lady came to my house and had um, all these various prostheses, shapes and sizes um, in these wonderful pink boxes. It was all very pretty, very ladylike, very feminine. Um, and I just found that humorous because it was, it was again, it, all part of that culture that defines women by their breasts and how it's all very pink and, and pretty. Um, and then just the idea of it, the idea of, I wrote a very short poem that talked about breast of chicken, breast of turkey, breast of woman. Breast cancer is not necessarily a death sentence. It is not something that defines you. It is only a part an experience among all the other experiences that you have in your life that make up who you are. You know, bottom line, I, I'm not my breast. I mean, it's just another physical something. You know, it's like my gallbladder, kind of. And uh, the fact that it was gone didn't make me less of a person.